just lost it. Next song on your handout, or 165, or in your book, in your C door underneath your seat, the smaller red book, or 17 in the PDF. Breathe. Take a breath in and breathe.
take one more deep breath. We've arrived. We're here. Can let everything else go. The psalmist says, Ze hayom asa Adonai nagila venismecha bo. This is the day. I think there was a little rabbinic. We'll see you later. This is the day that the one made rejoice and celebrate on it. 100 years. 100 years. 100 years of prayers in this very same room or for a few years down the street. No matter where the ark was placed and no matter what the direction of the congregation, a hundred years of prayers. A hundred years of significant, challenging, reverently irreverent conversation about the future of Judaism. A hundred years of teaching children and teens that to actualize your Judaism means you have to wrestle with the Torah and believe you have a seat at the table. 100 years of tears, of sadness at funerals and shivas for beloved community members. And 100 years of joy, tears of joy at baby namings, be mitzvahs, ofrufs, weddings, anniversaries, affirmation rituals, and more. 100 years of hearts open healed and made whole. A hundred years is a nice gadol, a great miracle. But following in the footsteps of Kaplan, we know it is not a miracle made on high. It is a miracle constructed piece by piece, day after day, conversation after conversation, commitment after commitment. For every single person across the last century that made this day possible and for the holy work of building community and for the flowering of an intellectually honest, passionate, progressive Judaism in the world that started right here. For this and so much more, let us give thanks and blessing. Hodu ladonai ki tov ki le'olam chas do. Give thanks to the source, for that source is good. Divinity's loving kindness is eternal. Oh, Paige, we're going to actually sing those words. Page 201, 23 in your PDF. Hodu Adonai Kitov, sing with us the greatness of this moment. Oh, do lot of night, keep the key lay a lamp Oh, do little hey, hallelujah, key lay a lamp Oh, do lot of night, Oh, do lot of night, Oh, do
Psalm 150, Kolha Nishamata, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. that. <laughs> the bar who is a moment at our service where we turn from I to we. Our prayers are gathered in the beginning, are geared toward waking us up, filling us with life and gratitude, which we have been already doing so much this morning. But at the bar who we draw together as a community. This morning, we are going to call up in varied ways, varied pieces of our extended SAJ community who make up the broader story of SAJ. I'm gonna call different groups, and as I call a group, if you're in that group, I invite you to rise in body or spirit and ask you to stay risen if you are able. And by the end, we will literally and metaphorically be standing for the bar who, and I'm speaking to everyone at home as well. We want you to stand too, we wanna see you too. And we're gonna to try to spotlight a few if we can. So if you are part of a founding SAJ family, meaning all the way back in 1922, if a family member was part of that founding or early followers of Kaplan who joined on at the beginning of SAJ's history, please rise. 
I know we have some at home. Miriam Eisenstein, I hope, is there. Maybe we can get her on. A few others. Okay, next. If you are a scholar of Mordecai Kaplan, a former SAJ clergy member or intern, a current member or former staff, please rise. If you're able. If you are a graduate of SAJ's Hebrew School or Macomb or a former member who has moved away but is here with us today, please rise. And I know many people at home fit into this category. <laughs> yes, Jordan, can please rise and represent that group. For our interfaith friends and friends from other Jewish communities, including Reconstructionist communities, as well as Reconstructionist clergy, that I saw already some online, please rise. If you are a member of the SAJ steering committee or one of the SAJ 100 years volunteers, please rise. If you are a member of SAJ's board, attend any social justice initiatives, are part of the adult B mitzvah class or involved in any way, shape or form, and that pretty much includes everyone here, please rise. That includes you, come on, you can get up. And the rest of our members or anyone else that I missed, please rise. <laughs> For the Barahu on page 247, we join as one. Barahu et Adonai You can be seated. We turn to page 249 or 41. <laughs> We invite our current rabbinic intern, Noah Rubin Blos, to share a poem or reading with us this morning. Let's invite to spotlight Noah so we can all see him. Hey, Noah, welcome. Shabbat shalom, everyone. This is So Much Happiness by Naomi Shihab Nye in honor of this day. It is difficult to know what to do with so much happiness. With sadness, there is something to rub against, a wound to tend with lotion and cloth. When the world falls in around you, you have pieces to pick up something to hold in your hands, like ticket stubs or change. But happiness floats. It doesn't need you to hold it down. It doesn't need anything. Happiness lands on the roof of the next house singing and disappears when it wants to. You are happy either way. Even the fact that you once lived in a peaceful tree house and now live over a quarry of noise and dust cannot make you unhappy. Everything has a life of its own. It too could wake up filled with possibilities of coffee cake and ripe peaches and love even the floor which needs to be swept, the soiled linens and scratched records. Since there is no place large enough to contain so much happiness, you shrug, you raise your hands, and it flows out of you into everything you touch. You are not responsible. You take no credit as the sky takes no credit for the moon, but continues to hold it and share it, and in that way be known. 
Thank you, Noah, for the beautiful, perfect prayer. And following on that, in words of praise, that happiness that can start on here and end on someone's roof. I love that image. Page 257, also in the chat, also in the handout. Hader v'hamunah. It's been a while since we've done that, and it's, there's a responsive congregational part. So we need everyone singing here, sitting with us today, to join. L'chai olamim. L'chai olamim. When it comes. Ha'aderet v'ha'emuna v'chai olamim Ha'bina v'ha'beracha v'chai olamim Ha'ba'ava v'ha'gedula v'chai olamim Ha'adeya v'ha'dibur v'chai olamim And may light always find us. Or Hadash al Tion Ta'ir. 
269 at the bottom of the page or 53 in the PDF. Ahava Raba, page 273-54. We take a second to meditate on the love that we have received through being in community at SAJ, through the meets votes, through the commandments, through the acts, through the communal acts, through the inspiration we receive through the Torah that is shared here. Take a moment to breathe that in. Page 275, we'll sing together. Page 56, may all of these pathways, these folkways, these pathways lead us to light and to love, to a better world, enlighten our eyes with truth. 273. <laughs> You can unmute if you'd like to join us out loud. Shema Seventy-seven. <laughs> 
היום על לבביך, ושיננתם לבניך, ודיברת בם, ושבתך בביתך, ובלכתך בדרך. ובשוך בך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובישעריך We continue with either Bible reflection one or two, and then with the third paragraph of the Shema to yourself or some moments of quiet meditation. <laughs> Adonai Eloheichem, Amen. It is my pleasure and my deep honor to invite my friend, Reverend Nigel Pierce, and SHA's friend, Reverend Nigel Pierce, to come up and share a blessing and to invite our other uh, interfaith colleague, my interfaith colleagues, Reverend Skylar's, Skylar Vogel and Kay Carpen, to come up and stand with Reverend Pierce for this blessing. Good morning, SAJ. We greet you in his sacred and holy and most precious name. I thank you for the cantor and the breath and reminding us every breath is a miracle. I was reminded of a story that the rabbis used to go and say a prayer, and they knew the sacred place. And after a while, they forgot where the sacred place was. And after a while, they forgot what the prayers were. But the miracle still happened because the miracle is you. The miracle is you that you've been together for over 100 years. And you don't even look a day over 50, amen? <laughs> but we want to thank you from Grace Congregational Church. The last time we were together, we were on a civil rights tour right before COVID. We traveled together, we cried together, we worshiped and praised together. And I thank you for pouring into Grace Congregational Church and to be our partners, and to learn together, to eat together, and to just love on each other together. And so we miss those moments and those times, and we pray we can get there again. But despite the weather, despite COVID, we are here. Amen? Amen. <laughs> I want to just say a brief prayer that what is required of us to do justice, to love mercy, to walk humbly with our God. As we travel through these times, as we go through the dark night of the soul, we honor this holy and sacred place. We honor your history of hundreds of years. We honor the ancestors. We honor those who are here today and those on Zoom. And we honor those who are to come to this sacred space. We honor the teaching. We're so grateful for Rabbi Lauren and her work and our hard, hard, diligent studies and teaching. We thank you for your mission. We call on all those that you can be what you have been created to be. We call that you be the light. Yeah, you okay. Be the peace, the love, and the hope. Be alone. Bring back the desperate, broken pieces of our communities. 
Bring back our brothers and sisters who are lost. Bring back all that is happening in this world as you have a heart for the immigrant, as you have a heart for the refugees, as you have a heart for those who are unhoused. You have a heart for those who are without food. And so as we lift up all those who are broken, who are in need of community, we lift up this community of believers and worshipers that your light may spread from here throughout this city and be a beacon of light to this world as you come together and work together and build that beloved community that Dr. King so talked about, that as you worship together and praise God together, Rumi said, there is a place out there in the field where us and them doesn't mean anything. He said, meet me in that field. Do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Thank you, Reverend Pierce and Reverend Vogel, Reverend Kay, it's hard to call you by your last name, Kay, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for lifting up those beautiful words. And those words lead us into the Micha Melcha, they lead us into the prayer for exactly what that call is. Let's embody that through our words and through our singing. Micha Melcha, what our ancestors sang at the sea. We know that. Justice is still far away, but we keep singing, we keep working, we keep trying until we'll get there. 291, 66 in the PDF. <laughs> Page 295-67, we'll chant the first few blessings of the Amidah, the standing prayer together, and then we'll have an opportunity to continue on our own with the words in the book. 
with our own words. And when you're done, your personal amizah, or if you prefer to sit at the, you can do that as well. 295 or 67 in the PDF.
נשיאים לעומת רבים לעומתם ברוך יומנו ברוך כבוד אדוני ממקום לחם הוקינו תופיע ותמלוך עלינו כי מחכים אנחנו לך מתי תמלוך בציון בקרוב בימינו לעולם ועד תשכון תתקדם ותתקדש בתוך ירושלים עירך לדור ודור ולנצח נצחים ועינינו תראינה תראינה מלכותך ועינינו תראינה תראינה מלכותך ולנצח נצחים קדושתך נקדיש ושבחך אלוהים ומפינו לא ימוש לעולם ועד כי אל מלך קדו וקדוש אתה ברוך אתה אדוני האל If you're still continuing your Amidah, please do so. If you're done, you can be seated. And we're on page 323, transliterated at the bottom or the bottom of the page, I believe. Also in the handout. If Oh, uh-huh. 
Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat, Shabbat shalom. shalom. Neither COVID nor Omicron nor Nor'easter can <laughs> stop us from celebrating SAJ's 100th anniversary. <laughs> As is our tradition, we are going to say hi to the people on the Zoom and bridge the technological divide between mm -hmm. us and them. And we're going to invite our tech folks to screen. However, we're not going to unmute. It's making it a little simpler uh, today. So we invite you to please smile very big at home, you, with, you without masks, and wave. And we will wave to you, and we will say hello to each other in the sanctuary as well. So if you can scan pages so we can see some of the folks who have their cameras open. Oh, I see Sarai. Oh, oh my gosh. Shabbat shalom. I can't see everyone, but I know there's a lot of people there. I think I see Jim Posner. Let's see. Shabbat shalom. Mort, I see. Kate, Kate, Hi, Steph. Caitlin. Kate. Oh, so I see. Look how kids are on there, too. Is that? Shabbat shalom. The are on? The yeah, McComb students are on, too? Yeah, yeah, okay, good, because we're about to take this over. Abbott is Bolton is here. Some of our Macomb kids. I see a whole bunch. Oh, I see a bunch of people from Macomb and our families who are not here in person. Wendy, Pastor. Well, okay, now we have names, but we love you, too. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Oh, the yeah, well, they're going to get there. Okay, we are going to now begin our Torah service. I'm going to invite those executive committee members and steering committee members who are in person to please come forward. Invite Naomi Miller to please come forward to open the extra. Please rise. I he been so hard
before when you came this morning. Shabbat shalom, everyone. You can sit down. I'd love to see on the screen the folks with the... We're here. We will do, and then we will understand. We will act, and we will figure it out later. That is the motto of SAJ, <laughs> as well as in our Torah portion today. Five aliyot. The first two are per our normal uh, aliyot. We're going to have a yard site aliyah for anyone who's remembering anyone who died in this season and seasons past. Second aliyah is going to be for birthdays anniversaries or anything you want to celebrate. I know at least one. And then the third, th the next three are for all of you here and all of you at home. If you have been an SAJ member for between a couple months and 19 years, the third Aliyah is for you. If you have been a member for 20 plus years until 39 years, this Aliyah is for you. I'll remind you. For the, for the fifth Aliyah is going to be for members who are here 40 years and counting, and if you are second or third generation of SAJ. Okay, so now that we're, we're started, we're ready to go. We have Zorvio Game Vashin Alako Hasim Boven Omar, Amen. Hakol Havu Godelahina Tumbo Kabo La Torah, Nala Amod. For the first Aliyah, all those who are observing yard sites remembrances this week. What are you looking for? Oh, I have it, I have it, I have it. Yeah, here at the You're in Parshat Mishpatim, uh, the book of Exodus, starting chapter 24, verse 1. So that's page 476. I did. And the larger red book, page 476, Exodus chapter 24, verse 1. Okay. I'll count you up so you can do this together. One, two, three. Amen. Vio Moshe Amar, Haleel Adonai, Atavavi, nope. Atavia Haron, Nada Vavi Hu, Vashivi, Mizikne, Israel, Vihish Tahavi Tem, Mirahok, Nadav Moshe, Levad, Vinigash Moshe, Levado, El Adonai, Vahem, Lo Yigashu, Vaham, Lo Yalu, Yola, Lo La, Lo Yalu, Imo. Vayavaho Moshe, Vaisaper la am eight, called the Vrey Adonai, the eight, called Hamish Patim, Vayaham, called Echad Vayomeru, called Hadvarim, Asher di Ber Adonai, Nasem. Aruchata, 
of the person whose yard sign you're observing. Um, and I'll call on you one at a time. So, uh, Claudia, if you can share it to the microphone. My mother, Lee Rader. Uh, actually, if folks at home, if you're observing your yard sign, yes, please raise your hands and I'll call on you, Sylvia. My husband, David Ripps, who heard um, Mordechai Kaplan when he first joined this synagogue. Uh, David? Uh, Rabbi, my mother, um, I think my sisters are on too. Our our father, uh, Jerry Rabinowitz, and our mother, uh, Evelyn Rabinowitz, who here is the your site. Janice? My father, Mary Ginsburg. Fern? My father, Leonard Flomenhaft, who brought us to this synagogue, who discovered it and, and brought me here to meet my husband, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Saranga. Oh, Mike, I think she did you. Uh, my mother, Faye Saranga. Uh, Myra. Oh, we took the names off of the screens, and now I can't, I don't know who everyone is. Um, I think, is that Daniel Messenger? Daniel, Daniel Messenger, yes. My grandfather, Wilfred Weather, Liz Stats. Okay. Uh, the gentleman sitting in front of the bookshelf. We don't have the I'm names. Sorry, I don't know your names. That's right. David. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, my mother, Rose Muscon Friedman, on your art site this week. Uh, the woman with a lovely pink pillow behind you. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother, Roberta Einziger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alana? For David. Yes, my mom just mentioned my mother, my father, David Ripps. Jackie? Jackie Seidenberg, if you want to unmute. We'll come back to you. I see her name. It's uh, Dr. Alfred Rosenthal. Uh, Phyllis? That's later. Newman? I don't think she's there for that. She's not there for that. Okay. Okay. Did, it, did I miss anyone else who's observing a yard site who we want to share their name out loud? Remembering. Okay. Uh, Barbara and George. Barbara. Nice yeah. Franklin. George's sister who passed away this week. Mm. Who's that? Yes, and the woman in the with blue. The, the blue sweatshirt. Is that Amy Bergman. I remember yeah. my mother. Doris Schwartzbergman, who died nine years ago this past Thursday. Okay. Anyone else? I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Okay. Remember their memories, all of their memories, with the Elma Lay Memorial Prayer. Shalom, 
en amar. Amén. Okay, so we need Rabbi David Eber. We need more Gerberg and anyone else who has an aliyah today. <clears throat> there we go. I see David. Okay. I see Mort. Okay, I think we're good. Amen. Amen. Vaik tov Moshe et kol divre Adonai vaish kem ba boker vayevan mizbeach tachat hahar ushtem esre matseva lishne masar shivte Yisrael vayishlach et naare bene Yisrael v'yaalu olot. Vaizvehu Zvachim Shlamim Ladonai Parim Vaikach Moshe Chatsi Hadam Vayasem Baaganot Vachatsi Hadam Zarach Ahamizbeach David, so great to see you, Rabbi Eber, I should say. Mwah. Or Rabbi David. For Mort, Mishaberach, Avotain Avram, Yitzhak, Yaakov, Yimotain, Yisar, Karach, Avalea, may the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless you, Mort, whoever today, in honor of Torah, in honor of SAJ, and in honor of the 53rd anniversary of your wedding, of your marriage. 53, guys. Mazel tov. May you be blessed today, and in many, many years to come, with, the, with, the, with continued love and blessing in your marriage. May your family thrive along with all of your brothers and sisters and the people of Israel and beyond. And let us say, Amen. Amen. I know Pamela has a birthday, and I'm wondering what the other smachot are online. If you can open, unmute and let us know so I can include you. Barbara and George, are you on there for a simcha? Or just got stuck in the loop of the Zoom? Okay. <laughs> yes, go ahead, please. Unmute and join us and let us know. Can you, okay. For Simka, no. Go ahead, yes, I'm, I see you raising your hand, but I don't know your name, yes. Irving. Yeah, Irving. Yes, yes. it's a Simka. Uh, it's, it's the anniversary of my son's bar mitzvah in 1985. Mazel tov. And, and then again, his son, my grandson, had his bar mitzvah two years ago which I was able to go to Atlanta before the major epidemic came to this world. So it's a celebration 
of both my families. Mazel tov for all the smachot. It's so wonderful that you could celebrate to many, many more. Shelly, did you have a simcha? Um, Tara, my daughter, turned 21 yesterday, and her yeah. parsha was mishpatim. Okay, right, great. So we'll do Kara and Pamela together for birthdays. Misha Berach, Avatina, Abraham, Yitzhak, Ve'akov, Yimatina, Sarev, Karachal, Ve'lea. Who you Yitzhak, may all of you today who have risen today in honor of Shabbat, in honor of SAJ, and in honor of the birthday of Pamela Rosenblum and Kara. May you have many, many, a wonderful year ahead of celebration, of community, of friendship. May you know that you always have so many people to count on. For Kara, many good wishes and be very uh, careful. And as you leap into adulthood, we're all watching you and you have your back. Please put that message to her. And uh, Pamela, may this be a year for you of love and, he and healing and friendship and support and all the blessings that you need in your life. And let us say, Amen. Mazel tov. <laughs> Our third Aliyah is going to be for anyone who is like the relatively new kid around the block at SAJ. You know, just up until 19 years. <laughs> so come on up for this Aliyah Nala Amod. And also for people at home, we're going to do our best to spotlight folks, but we can't make promises. But please join us for this Aliyah. Just unmute and, and join us as you can. We're continuing on page 478, chapter 24, verse 7. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you might want to gather around. You'll be around the whole way. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. One, two, three. Barber, <laughs> 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 Twenty <laughs> Vayal Moshe Veharon, Nadav Vavihu Veshivim Mizikne Yisrael, Vayiru Eit Elohe Yisrael, Vetachat Raglav, Kemase Livnat Hasapir, Uch Etzem Hashemayim Alatohar, Veratilei Bene Yisrael, Voshalach Yado, Vayechelzu Et Elohim, to many, many more. Mazal tov. Have you guys take a seat. We're going to say a Misha Barak for all those who are in need of blessings of healing, a special prayer for those who need those blessings of healing. Misha Barak. Misha Barak. 
May the source of blessing and healing come to all those who need it. We call those blessings towards Esther Aviva, Aviva Batsara Adele, Abraham Mikhail, Ben Shira Yafa, Yosef, Larry Josephson, Paul Rosenblum, Zelda Bat Devora, Yisrael, Mort, Ger Mort Gerberg, Chava Bat Moish, Paul Lindemann, Phyllis Kreitner, Eva Reisman, Kayla Batsara, Amy Mendelkar, Margot Hellman, Florence Cohn, Tahila Batbella, Florence Rosenthal, Ruth Goldenson, Kate Fritchie, Jill Prosky, Ruben Ben Barbara, Shalom Hellman, Alan Gard, Yaakov Ben Ladi, Reyes Ben Sara, Adele Ribolo, Chava Bachaya, George Frega, Jennifer Novak, Shimon Ben Sviva, Esther, Noam Eliezer Ben Yael Chaya, Hanan Lev Ben Lea, Abigail Fader Kane, Hagen, Joseph, Heidi Nanette, and Jesse Gottfried, Cindy Lawrence, Sonali Roy Hochori, Ari Vogel, Alan Altschuler, Al Seidenberg, Al Broder, Samantha Mantel, Table Rochel, Bat Hashka Avraham. And if those in the community have names to offer, I will go around and say them now. that were named in the chat as well. We hold them all in our hearts as well as those who are not yet known to us. May they be granted a complete healing, a healing of body, healing of spirit. And if healing is not possible in this world, may they find comfort and peace and let us say, Amen. Our fourth Aliyah is going to be for our SAJ, I don't know what to call them, <laughs> baby boomers or something. There's not, I don't know, I need a name. I have my, the new kids on the block. Now we have the sort of stalwarts, not quite yet. We have the 20 years to 39 year category. So please come up and also um, join us on the Zoom. Our, our tour reading is in the red books on page. To 479, Exodus 24, 12. Amen. <laughs> Sarah, I 
Amen. And thank you for being with us today at home and on and in person. And we're so blessed with your presence. And thank you for being a part of SAJ and having it be in your life for so long. So much. <laughs> The final fifth aliyah is for those who have been at SAJ for 40 or more years or are blessed to be a second or third generation. Everyone give them a little, a little 4T. What do you say? Fourth generation, second, third, or fourth generation SAJer. Come on forward. I'm not a second. Aliyah, we know we have first generation. at home who are joining for the end You missed that one. <laughs> I asked David Greenberg. Yeah, okay. okay. I'll count you off. We got some folks at home. We're standing up, but I need just to Amen. Vaya a Moshe el Hahar, Vaya Hase Anan et Hahar, Vayish Kong Kivor Adonai al Har Sinai, Vaya Hase who he Anan Sheshet Yarim, Vaya Kray a Moshe, Vayom Hashmi, Toche Anan, Umar e Kivor Adonai, Keish Ochelet Berosh Hahar, the Ene Bene Israel. Moshe betoche anan vaya el hahar vaya hi boshe bahar arba im yom ba arba im la la Amen. And to all those at home, I want to acknowledge, I know that Davidson's and Ruth Messenger and Jerry and Lois and I see um, who else do I see? David Wise, Miriam Eisenstein, and Carol. And I see Ron Kushner. Ron, where is he? Ron Kushner? Can anyone else? Ray. Danny, put your finger off. Yes, Alana Schieber for Generations. David and Linda. Jim Posner. And others. Jim Posner. Lori Lieber. Zoom, Lori I know. Lieber. Saray Crane. Lori Lieber. Saray Kramer. Saray Crane. So for all of these, we thank you for all of your years of dedication, hard work, and sticking it through with SAJ through all these years. You are a blessing to us. Don and Alan Altschuler. Hmm? Yeah. It's in both of our names. Florence Cohn is watching also. Florence so Cohn is watching. Okay. But no, it's here. You're here. What do you want? Oh, oh, oh. I don't know how to put that. Invite you up. to please rise and by your spirit. Nala Amo the Hagwa Ava legally la. We call up for the binding and raising of the Torah. Thank you. And Rabbi Joy Love it.
Ernst Rasfeld for being with us and Rabbi Joy Levitt for being with us today. They have paved us their way for us to be here. Without you, we would not be here today, so thank you. You can be seated. It is my thrill and honor to begin to invite our special guest speakers this morning. And first I want to acknowledge and recognize um, that there were uh, all the, those of us, there, all, the, all the elected officials who are here with us either in person or in spirit. Senator Schumer could not be here, but he sent a beautiful letter which is attached in your handout. Congressman Nadler is gonna be up in just a moment. Mayor Eric Adams could not come, but he sent over a gorgeous proclamation and all of them are there and you can see them at the end of the service. I'll try to put some on the stand as well. We're graced by Comptroller Brad Lander, by uh, Borough President Mark Levine, and Council Person, yet again, our local Council Person, Gail Brewer. We're so thrilled that you're here and part of our community. So thank you so much. We're going to invite um, Rabbi Nat Rabbi, Rabbi Nadler, do you have a new title? <laughs> <laughs> We can have a little conversation on the side and get that taken care of if you'd like. But um, really, I know that I was not here for your time at SAJ, but I know that you have deep history, uh, uh, Congressman Nadler with SAJ. So we're thrilled to have you here. Let's take, uh, no offense to the borough president, let's take him off the spotlight for now. Let's have one at a time. So I'll invite um, Congressman Nadler to share some words. Well, th thank you very much. and. Uh... My wife, Joyce Miller, and I do have a, an extensive history with, uh, with SAJ for 15 years or so. Uh, we never missed the Shabbos uh, service. When, 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 uh, Alan Miller was the rabbi at the time. And I see some old friends on the Zoom today, uh, Sarai Grain, Lenny Bergman, um, and a few others. Anyway, um, so congratulations uh, on the 100th anniversary since Mordechai Kaplan started the SAJ and, reconstruct and Reconstructionism, and what became Reconstructionism. Um, I uh, uh, introduced the resolution on, and, and, on the floor of the House, which passed, which was adopted by the House, which you have a copy of, but I'll just read it now. Uh, Madam Speaker, I rise today to honor the 100th anniversary of SAJ, Judaism that stands for all. Originally named the Society for the Advancement of Judaism, the synagogue's founding in 1922 was a historic moment in the growth of Judaism in America. 100 years later, it remains a cornerstone of Jewish life in New York City. SAJ was founded by Rabbi Mordechai Kaplan, one of the most influential Jewish thinkers of the 20th century. Rabbi Kaplan developed an understanding of Judaism as an evolving civilization, later becoming known as Reconstructionist Judaism. For decades, SAJ served as Kaplan's experimentation field. There, American Jews could take pride in drawing from their Jewishness to support their Americanness, their Americanness to support their Jewishness. SAJ joined the rapidly growing synagogue community on New York's Upper West Side, a neighborhood rich with Jewish life. SAJ has long stood for social justice, equality, and progress. It is a place where all are welcome, including LGBTQ and interfaith families. Today, it is led by all female clergy and staff. Rabbi Alan Miller, who served as rabbi of SAJ from 1961 to 1992, introduced to the sermon the idea of the open microphone, where congregants can share their reactions as part of a dialogue. Originated at SAJ, the open microphone is now utilized by rabbis across Jewish denominations. Today, we celebrate SAJ's commitment to advance justice in the Upper West Side, in New York City and in the world beyond. We celebrate its 100 years of bold intellectual curiosity and 100 years of enriching Jewish life. That is the uh, resolution I introduced that passed the House. Um, and uh, it, 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 I think, does justice to the uh, very, very large role in uh, Jewish life in the 20th and now 21st centuries played by the SAJ. So thrilled that you could be with us today, Congressman Adler. So proud to be part of your community and thank you very much for all that you do in serving the American people and in our neighborhood. 
Um, we wish you blessings and uh, Godspeed and all the amazing work that you do. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> One can always use a brothel. What do you think? Do you want a bracha, like a formal bracha? I'm going to do it right now. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless you, Congressman Gerald Nadler, who have come today in honor of SAJ and in honor of your history with SAJ, and who serves the American people with pride, with dedication, with love, and when, with unflappable courage and strength in the midst of difficult times. Thank you. May you be blessed to continue to protect our democracy with the help of all of us and with the help of all of your colleagues. May we continue to advance America to be the place that we know that it can be with Jewish values guiding our way. May your work be blessed and let us say amen. Amen. Thank you for that blessing. Okay, that was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm ready for you to also give you a blessing if you want, if you want, Brad. So I'm very proud to introduce um, our new comptroller, Brad Lander, to the floor, to the BIMA today. Brad also happens to be a J. Fridge friend who I got arrested next to about three people down. So we wave together in handcuffs and uh, with many blessings to you. We're so happy you're here. Shabbat shalom and mazel tov on 100 years. Very impressive. Uh, it is such an honor uh, to worship here with Rabbi Strasfeld and Rabbi Levitt and, of course, my uh, friend and cellmate, uh, your current rabbi, uh, Lauren Gravel Herman. I want to say yashikach uh, to Cantor Arbister for that very quick move saving the Torah from falling, especially this morning. That was very fast action. And it's, and it's always an honor to, uh, to follow Rabbi Nadler, uh, uh, most, <laughs> most certainly. Um, Unlike the congressman, this is my first time at SAJ, but I will tell you, it feels like coming home. I, I feel, I almost came up for an aliyah because I feel like a member because what Rabbi Mordechai Kaplan and the founders of SAJ did 100 years ago this week has had a very profound impact on my life personally. Uh, the rabbi who officiated at my uh, bar mitzvah some years ago uh, was Rabbi Susan Talve, one of the first women ordained uh, in the reform, you know, at um, HUC. And the picture of my grandfather, uh, you know, stuck in some old ways, and an eight-month pregnant Rabbi Susan Talve with her first child officiating, and me at my bar mitzvah is one of the ones that just has shaped my life. Um, the rabbi of my adult life, Rabbi Ellen Lippman, whose grandparents were amongst the founders of SAJ, uh, is joining us uh, on the Zoom. Uh, and Rabbi Lippman officiated at our wedding, uh, when we put the mezuzah on our house for the, the, both the naming and the bar and bat mitzvah of my son and daughter, and to have that tradition. And our uh, Kolot Chayenu is our congregation in Brooklyn, where Ann Eisenstein, who is one of the descendants of Mordechai Kaplan, I think also uh, worshiping with us today on the Zoom. And our current rabbi at Kolot Chayenu, Miriam Grossman, not only is she a, ra a graduate of the Reconstructionist Rabbinical College, but her father was in, as I understand it, the very first graduating class. So that tradition um, of reconstruction in general, but boy, especially of strong feminist rabbis and leaders in our tradition, has shaped my life, has shaped most profoundly the life of my daughter Rosa, uh, um, you know, uh, who we have a long, long way to go. And as we're thinking about the Supreme Court this week, the fight for full equality for women is a long way from achieved. But I will say this, thanks to the work that founders of SAJ 
and uh, Rabbi Kaplan and that extraordinary set of rabbis and leaders over the years have done. My daughter got to grow up in a Jewish congregation where the idea that women are fully equal members of our Judaism, of our society in every single way, I really think is like for the first generation, a palpable expectation. Um, and that is profound and comes to them from, uh, from this work done 100 years ago. And I, I feel really very deeply grateful uh, for and humbled by it. Um, I also know that that vision of what reconstruction requires is not just a historical one. So we are called today to push ourselves and say, you know, um, Rabbi Kaplan and folks at that time were both a little closer to the Orthodox traditions, having, you know, themselves learned in them, but also a little closer to the immigrant experience as Jews and the commands of justice and what they meant in their daily life. So there's some ways it's a little harder for us, the commandment to us to engage in those acts of learning and reconstruction um, and what justice requires. I think we have to be pushed a little harder. Um, and boy, this pandemic, which has in so many ways exposed profound inequalities and injustices and cruelties in the way that we normally go about our business, calls for more from us and our traditions offer thoughts about plagues, but they do not contain all the lessons for rising to them in ways that we could be proud of as Jews and as human beings. Now, I want to note that, Lauren, your work over the past year standing up with and for the men at the Lucerne um, as one way we think about what does it mean to respond to uh, a plague in ways that insist on full equality and compassion, I think is in that spirit of reconstruction, of pushing ourselves harder, even when it's uncomfortable. Yeah, let's, we could clap for that, that's serious. But, but it takes courage to kind of continue that act of reconstruction, and a lot more is required of us because if we're serious about learning those lessons about what it means to have a city whose public health system is so unequal, whose public school system is so segregated, whose access to opportunities is so deeply unequal, just a lot more is required of us in the next hundred years. If we want to engage honestly with Israel and Palestine and be able to show our children uh, a relationship to that place, that holy place that we spend so much time reading about, and yet also do what justice requires, honor the dignity and human rights and freedom struggle of Palestinians, then the ways that we engage in our work with Israel and Palestine in our Judaism, we are called, I believe, in reconstruction and in our traditions to deeply engage with our history and push ourselves harder than it is sometimes comfortable to go. And 100 years from now, when they're back at the 200th anniversary, they're going to look back on what we did in this time. And finally, that is so certainly true about the climate crisis, uh, where we have some lessons in our traditions about how to treat and care for the environment. And some amazing groups like Dayenu are pushing us to do better. But boy, if we want to be looked back on 100 years from now and have people say they did what was necessary, then we will have not only to feel the celebration of the past 100 years, but push ourselves moving harder. So I just wanted to come here both to congratulate you and to pledge my partnership and support with you. I think maybe it's not a coincidence that we're reading Mishpatim this week, which amongst other things is sort of the pivot point from the story into the laws. Um, some laws we really are proud of and want to keep, like not oppressing strangers, and some laws that we want to let go of, uh, like putting sorceresses uh, to death. Um, but I know that because we also have on the Zoom not just Rabbi Nadler, but uh, Rabbi Messenger, um, and in the house, uh, Gail Brewer and Mark Levine, um, the relationship between your elected officials and this congregation, I hope can be one of what I've learned from Rabbi Lippman as tochecha, of, of righteous rebuke, of, of real accountability. As I step into the role of chief accountability officer, um, it is a mutual kind of accountability. The only way that we will hold ourselves to that vision of what this place is and what our city can, must, and should be and what our religion teaches we must make it is with that form of tochecha, of mutual accountability, 
grounded in love, but serious and honest in mitzvot of what is required of us. And it's with that spirit that I present you my very first commendation. This is my very first commendation as New York City Comptroller. It is such a deep honor to be with you and to celebrate with you this morning. Shabbat shalom. Well, I know who to invite for a guest of our Torah at any time, right? <laughs> Brad, you um, spoke so beautifully, and I want to bless you because you are just starting this work. I know how much you have already worked for the city of New York, but I want to bless you that this work that you step into, that you truly continue to be the sounding call for justice, for a vision of a city that works for everyone, that leaves no one behind and that you find in that incredible support and tochacha and love and may you feel um, the love that's in this room and buoy, buoy you up and may you know that, that um, May we continue to look to you and may your work be blessed in terms of calling us to accountability to be the kind of city we know we can be. We know we need to be. Thank you so much for your work and all that you're about to do. Okay, it is now my honor to invite back on the screen Borough President, Manhattan Borough President, Mark Levine. So please, we can find Thank you. Thank you. And I'm right here. <laughs> Great. And just for the people in the in the room, if we could put you on um, speaker view and, and take off the sanctuary so we can see. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Rabbi Lauren and Cantor Lisa, for what has already been an incredibly inspiring service. Boy, did I need this after what has been another difficult week and a succession of difficult weeks. How amazing is it that we have a comptroller who is fluent in balance sheets and can cite Torah from memory. Um, uh, incredibly grateful to my friend, Brad Land for his leadership and uh, Shabbat Shalom to, to Congressman Nadler and um, to my wonderful successors, uh, now council member, former borough president, Gail Brewer, and someone who's really one of my role models in life, former borough president, Ruth Messenger. Uh, we have quite a collection of rabbinic luminaries here. So Shabbat Shalom to uh, Rabbi President Waxman, to uh, Rabbi Levitt, to uh, Rabbi Straussfeld, um, and great that Reverend Pierce is here as well. It's incredibly meaningful. Uh, it's difficult to put into words what SAJ means to the Upper West Side, to Manhattan, to New York City, what Reconstructionism has meant to modern Jewish life. Um, the way that you have uplifted the role of women uh, so brilliantly on display here today, uh, the way you've added to the treasury of Jewish music, and um, most importantly, the way you've connected Jewish memory and text and history to the modern challenges of today through the very Jewish qualities of inquiry and debate and argument. I personally know many people who are only connected to Judaism and Jewish life because of you, because of this congregation who, if not for you, um, that connection would have been severed. So I'm incredibly grateful for all that you represent uh, in these hundred years and beyond. Now, Congress members read into the congressional record, comptrollers give you a commendation, borough presidents give you a proclamation. So I know you have the, the real one there live, but I'm just gonna read from this. Uh, this, is, this is a day of first, also my first proclamation as your new borough president. So it goes like this. Whereas in 1922, Rabbi Mordecai M. Kaplan founded the Society for the Advancement of Judaism, now known as SAJ, an institution that celebrates Jewish tradition and culture, champions bold ideas, and invites intellectual inquiry. And whereas SAJ became the first Reconstructionist congregation propelling forward a new understanding and denomination of Judaism that has since become widespread. And whereas Serving as a cornerstone of Jewish life on the Upper West Side, SAJ was the neighborhood's fifth major synagogue and has been integral to Judaism's vibrancy in New York City and beyond. Whereas SAJ's pioneering open microphone system changed the synagogue's dynamic 
from a monologue to a dialogue between rabbi and congregation, thereby democratizing Jewish learning, and is now used by rabbis across denominations, allowing the congregation to challenge authority with intellectual questions and maintain a balance of respect and education. And whereas SAJ has long advocated for those who seek freedom and equality and has shown its commitment to progressive values by hosting the first bat mitzvah, changing its name to SAJ, Judaism that stands for all, recently choosing all female leadership and engaging in campaigns for social change. Now, therefore, I, Mark Levine, do hereby congratulate SAJ on the celebration of its centennial and its contribution to the city and proclaim Saturday, January 29th, 2022, SAJ Appreciation Day in the borough of Manhattan. Yom Huladit Sameach, Yom Nisuin Sameach, Shabbat Shalom, Kohak Kavod, and happy anniversary. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We have not had the pleasure of meeting in, in person, but I look forward to it. And I want to thank you for your leadership already. Your Twitter feed is fantastic, <laughs> full of information. No, seriously, you're thank spreading you, information when others are spreading disinformation. I want to thank you for that. And Yeshua Koach on your leadership and, and many blessings for you as you emerge into this role. Thank, thank you, you for being with us. Okay, our four, all right. Our, Final in-person speaker is the, the incomparable Gail Brewer. Please come forward. So Shabbat Shalom, and it is an honor to be here. A hundred years is a long time. And I think that as you heard earlier from Brad Lander, 100 years in the future is also a long time, but I know SAJ is gonna be doing the same things, the same wonderful contributions forever. And I wanna say, from my perspective, I have been here because of a person named Ruth Messenger. I wouldn't be borough president without Ruth. I wouldn't be in the city council without Ruth. I wouldn't be anywhere, and I wanna thank her. I know she's on Zoom. We also teach together at Hunter College. Can you imagine, not me, but how great it is for the students to hear her. 8 a.m. on Wednesday mornings. They don't like that time, but they show up. And um, teaching with Ruth for many years has been a real honor also. So I always think of SAJ as a place when the world is going to pieces, you come to SAJ and you figure out how to handle all those pieces. And this, the, the discussions that take place here for 100 years and 100 years into the future I wish that they could be taking place in all communities because the way that the congregants go about thinking about things is so instructive and so helpful. Obviously, I do remember Rabbi Strasfeld. I have to say, I love seeing Christos, the gates, those orange flags in Central Park in 2005. And I remember, I'm a hoarder of paper, but I could not find that friggin' piece of paper when you wrote all about the flags. It was the most wonderful piece I'd ever read. Internet didn't have it. Internet does not have everything. And so I just want to say that was one example of the thinking that goes into this amazing congregation. And I remember, as you heard earlier from Brad, standing at the Lucerne, talk about controversial issues on the Upper West Side, international press. We call him Kay, but his real name is Reverend Carpin. And your wonderful Rabbi Lauren Herman were there. And it was very challenging. That's another example of the great thinking and support that comes from SAJ. It doesn't come from everywhere. It doesn't come in communities across the city or even this nation. And so for the hundred years, all I can think of is you have been doing it over and over again. And without your voice, it would be a very different city. Um, I also know that, you know, things like domestic workers and challenges that we've all had in terms of workforce issues, you have been in the forefront. The list is very, very long. Um, I also want to just say that um, in today's world, we obviously supported um, the grief, for lack of a better word, of the killing, Brad and I, and certainly the um, borough president and many thousands of others were at St. Patrick's yesterday. 
And I think if you saw it on television, or maybe you were there, or maybe you were in the streets, the grief was so profound. As the mayor said, it was a national grief. Um, people from all walks of life felt the same way. So we were reunited in that. And this was a young man that had incredible potential. But you know what was also interesting? And I think Brad and Mark might agree, and also the congressman, was that his wife was also incredible. She was a person sort of in the SAJ tradition that spoke her mind even when it's not popular. I think you all saw some of the things she said. She talked about her personal discussion with her husband that day, which was not comfortable. And then she talked about our district attorney in Manhattan, who um, I happen to like, but he's made some mistakes in, we might say, messaging. That would be one way of saying it. She talked about it right there in front of millions and the nation. So just a combination of that kind of family was so profound, not to mention immigrants and not to mention uh, the great words of uh, the police commissioner who spoke Spanish and English, the rabbi, I'm sorry, <laughs> the cardinal, <laughs> speaking in Spanish, opening remarks. What a great city. What a great city. And the SAJ is right there in that tradition. So when I think about the work that you do and your history, I just think about the ways in which you have brought all of us along. I happen to also love that uh, Rabbi Levitt, if you, I always call JCC Grand Central Station because the work that goes on there brings people, but just the way that she built up that institution in terms of our community is something that is also, pr we're so proud. Um, it was a gas station, I don't know if you remember, and she made it Grand Central Station in the best sense of the word. Um, without all the problems of Grand Central Station, but all the joy of being a New York institution. And so I'm a big fan of that particular individual. So I'm here just like everybody else to say how much um, you stand for, Judaism that stands for all. I am not going to read the whole proclamation, but I, just, I, I want to echo what others have said, and particularly the fact that um, it was March 18th, 1922, first bat mitzvah, and first time that there were also classes for women who grew up without that opportunity, not to mention for young people. Judaism that stands for all is certainly what you're all about. A hundred years, as I said, is an awful long time. And so be it known that I, Gail Brewer, council member of the sixth district for the second time, it is hysterical, I found my business cards from 20 years ago. <laughs> That's hysterical. I gave them out the other day. I was at the vigil, again, at the 3-2 precinct for the two officers who were murdered. And you know, you're back and you have to say that you're there. So I snuck in my 20-year-old business card and it worked. So what comes around goes around in the best words. SAJ, Judaism that stands for all in celebration of your glorious, 100th anniversary for your enduring contributions and outstanding service in New York City and the Jewish community, 29 January 2022, Gail Brewer, 6th District, again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Gail, I want to thank you for also for everything you do, but also for standing at the Lucerne and that was not um, an easy thing to do, and it should have been an easy thing to do, but it was not, and I want to thank you for your, for your leadership. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Gail. Uh, Gail uh, shouted out Ruth Messenger, and of course, Ruth and Wendy Pastor are who organized all these elected officials to come. We didn't know if one or four were gonna come, so four, thank you so much, Wendy and Ruth, for your work, and I wanna just read um, one paragraph of the proclamation from the mayor. I am proud to lead a city with such a large and thriving Jewish community that enhances every, as every facet of life in the five boroughs. For the past century, SAJ has been a pillar of leadership and support on Manhattan's Upper West Side, providing a spiritual home for New Yorkers and a vibrant center for Jewish life and learning. Today, I'm pleased to join the clergy and members of this historic congregation um, in celebration of its milestone 100th anniversary. So that's from Mayor Adams. And 
from Senator Schumer. I'm trying to think of where you can find it in your thing, you can find it in your packet. But he says, it's an absolute pleasure to extend my warmest greetings and congratulations as you gather for the 100th anniversary celebration for the Society of the Advancement of Judaism, SAJ. I'm grateful for the opportunity to recognize the transformational and significant work of SAJ, its leadership, staff, and members on this momentous occasion. Congratulations on the anniversary, and thank you on behalf of all New Yorkers. I know SAJ will continue to serve our community for many more years to come. Amen, Sela l'chaim. So thank you to everyone for these. We're gonna invite you to continue into our service for a little bit. We're gonna invite you to please rise in body or spirit. Uh, we have a prayer for a new month. And then following, we'll put the Torah in the ark and hear from Rabbi Deborah Waxman. Page 425 for a new month. A new Jewish month that is coming. May it be a blessing. Yeah, um, Michael, can you come hold the Torah? Can you hold the Torah? Okay. May it be your will eternal one, our God of our ancestors, that you renew for us this month for goodness and blessing. May you give to us long life, a life of peace, of goodness, blessing, a life of nourishment and sustenance. May it be a life of bodily health, a life where we find on the divine and a love of Torah, a life free of disgrace and shame, a life of happiness and honor, of integrity and discernment, intelligence and knowledge, a life in which our hearts' petitions are fulfilled for goodness. And let us say, Amen. Amen. will be on Tuesday and Wednesday of this coming week. May it come to us, to all of Israel, and to all the world for a blessing. Page 433. <laughs>
page 441. It is a tree of life. Yeah, na, na, na. Shalom again. We are blessed to have with us in person Rabbi Deborah Waxman, the leader of the Reconstructionist movement, a friend, a colleague, a mentor, and an incredible human being. Deborah Waxman is the CEO, president and CEO of Reconstructing Judaism. And she's here to share a few remarks on this auspicious occasion. I'm going to echo Rabbi Lauren's words from the beginning of our amazing service today. Zehayom asa Adonai nagila venismechavo. This is the day that Adonai has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am rejoicing so deeply to be here with you today to offer the members and the clergy and the staff of SAJ a blessing from Reconstructing Judaism and the entire Reconstructionist movement. And how beautiful that I can be here in person in this beautiful sanctuary and with some of the amazing members. I stand here today as the president and CEO of Reconstructing Judaism, the central organization of the Reconstructionist movement, to quell with joy and with pride on the centennial of the first Reconstructionist synagogue, the original flagship that remains a source of creativity and inspiration for the nearly 100 other Reconstructionist communities. I stand here today as a Reconstructionist rabbi who has been nourished and stirred by the ideas and the initiatives that have emerged out of this path-breaking organization. I stand here as an historian who focuses on American Jewish life in the 20th century, who wrote her dissertation on the founding of the Reconstructionist movement, who spent hours sitting outside the office on the second floor, poring over every page of your minutes from the founding to until your 50th anniversary, and who got probably the dirtiest I have ever been in my entire life, <laughs> spending a day with Rabbi Michael Strassfeld, sorting through old papers in the room near the furnace that had been damaged in a fire. I had to throw the shirt out, and it took me a week to get the dirt, the soot out from under my fingers. And I stand here today 
as a Jew whose entire Jewish identity has been, since childhood, I grew up in the left wing of the conservative movement, my entire Jewish identity has been shaped by Reconstructionist commitments formulated and brought to life here, even though I never heard the word Reconstructionism until I was in my early 20s. In other words, I bring my whole self, my head and my body and my heart to offer praise and appreciation and blessing to this extraordinary community on this significant day, kicking off this exciting year ahead. SAJ was founded as a laboratory for Rabbi Mordecai Kaplan and the creative and influential circle gathered around him to experiment on how to bring to life the groundbreaking understanding of Judaism as the evolving religious civilization of the Jewish people. It was established as a model institution that would demonstrate that it was possible to be modern and religious. It was possible to be fully American and fully Jewish. It was possible to be both passionately particularistic and unswervingly universal. It was possible to marry social justice with sustaining community and Jewish wisdom and practice. From the first gatherings to this very day, the SAJ has embodied the core Reconstructionist commitments of expanding the boundaries of Judaism without watering down what it means to be Jewish and trusting the wisdom and the creativity of the Jewish people working in partnership with skillful rabbis to adapt to changing circumstances in new and generative ways. 100 years ago, the Society for the Advancement of Judaism was founded as the first Reconstructionist synagogue. And today, SAJ, Judaism that stands for all, remains a sterling demonstration of the evolution, vitality, and boldness of a Reconstructionist pro approach and an inspiration for the entire Reconstructionist community. We will celebrate you at our upcoming movement convention, an all-access convention, March 23rd to 27. So, on behalf of the entire Reconstructionist movement, I thank you for your leadership and your example, your courage and stamina and vision, and I offer you this blessing. May you continue to be a kihila kidosha, a true and sustaining community infused with holiness. May you go on enacting the Reconstructionist principle of making space for each individual to flourish and ensuring that the community transforms itself through the embrace of every individual. May you be strengthened and supported in your work for tzedek, justice in this world. May you remain deeply rooted and boldly relevant. And may the entire SAJ community go Mikhail Lechayel, from strength to strength to strength. Mazel tov. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Thank you so much. Rabbi Waxman for those beautiful, beautiful words and inspiring words. And I remember when I first encountered the ideas of Reconstructionism and it was life-changing as well. And I also, before I say a short bit, I promise a short bit, I wanted to thank my clergy partner, Cancer Lisa Arbiser, for co-envisioning today. And co-envisioning everything, I, I, I just treasure this relationship so much and so blessed to be able to work with you. To the band for lifting us up today and just really helping us make it special. And to Rabbi Strasfeld and Rabbi Levitt, we're so happy you're here and be part of the service. And of course, like I, I can't actually, I'll, I can't because I, I won't include everyone and I'll feel bad. So I'll stop, but thank you all. 
And to the staff, thank you also to the staff. When Dr. Mordecai Kaplan began the SAJ 100 years ago, the Jewish community and the world were at a turning point. In the Jewish community, Kaplan saw on the one side a refusal among traditionalists to integrate new understandings of science and the world into their midst. And on the other hand, Kaplan saw a growing abandonment of Judaism altogether by those who wanted to be fully American. In the world, there had just been a global pandemic, the first world war, and American society had been experiencing a new revelation, a revolution for fighting for equality, women's rights and suffrage, labor rights and economic equality. At this very particular moment in history, Kaplan responded by articulating a vision of Judaism in which you do not have to blindly follow the traditions or ideas that you don't believe in in order to be Jewish, and where you could be fully Jewish and fully American, as Rabbi Waxman said, with those identities supporting and complementing each other Kaplan saw the inequities both inside and outside the Jewish community and made the radical, and I would say still radical, suggestion that this hierarchy that Jews lived with for millennia as the chosen people was a principle we should no longer abide by. And he expanded Judaism to include women fully in ritual, setting off a revolution of egalitarianism in Jewish life. Today, 100 years later, we also gather at a turning point. A turning point in the Jewish world and a turning point in our global world. The majority of Jewish families and younger Jews today do not feel obligated in the same way as their ancestors, their generations before, to join traditional Jewish institutions. And a trend heightened by the pandemic, not a bad one, but just a new trend, that a Jewish home, someone's spiritual home, could be accessed anywhere at any time on a computer or a phone. These are revolutions. These are new ideas. And in the larger world, ugh, you just have to take a deep breath, right? A large, the larger world. Rampant inequality, which has shown a mirror on in the pandemic, but was there. Existential threats to our democracy. Global climate change. Anti-Semitism alive and well, and feeling extraordinarily close to home just two weeks after Coleyville. <sighs> Deep breath. But in this watershed moment, this is how we are, and this is how we are going to respond. We are creating and building a spiritual community where individuals can find healing and wholeness, the healing and wholeness that they need in order to face the challenges in their life and in the world. A spiritual community that is based in deep love and joy, knowing that joy is not a privilege, but it is essential for our path. We are building a world in which the values of questioning are lifted up at a time when that is not the case. We are building a world of compassion in which loving our neighbor is an active practice. And while we recognize that anti-Semitism is undeniable, we also know we're not alone. 
Our safety is in our solidarity. We are creating a world where diversity is our strength and all are invited to contribute to the ongoing revelation of Torah. We are building a world that affirms the dignity of each person and inspires us to bend the arc towards justice. As we step into the next 100 years, and I want to say that again, as we step into the next 100 years, let us commit to channeling the chutzpah, the verve, the insight, the gusto of our founders to meet this moment and to the next century with creativity, with out-of-the-box thinking, and with deep Jewish commitment. Let us ask big questions and have the courage to try new things. Let us commit to building our community in such a way that will sustain us and uplift us as individuals, that also advances this institution, but more importantly, the Jewish people as a whole, and that will make the world a better place for Kol Yoshe Tevel, for all who dwell on earth. That is our mission. It's plenty of work for 100 years. May we rise to this moment. Let's invite you to please rise, literally and figuratively, to this moment. Yehi noa maranai Eloheinu aleinu maase adenu konanat konanehu aleinu maase adenu konanehu. May the pleasantness of divine service be in our hearts. May the work of our hands be upheld and blessed. May the work of our hands be sustained and manifested. And let us say, Amen. Please stay standing for the priestly blessing. If you're sitting next to someone that you feel comfortable, like you're in your family with, you can get closer, share a talit, or if you'll, and anyone on Zoom, I invite you to just literally put your arms out so we'll like our Zoom screen becomes one connective blessing circle. Just invite you to listen and to hear these words and to hear them blessing our ancestors, blessing us, and blessing our future. May it be so. You can be seated. Oh God, where's the art I list? Okay. 
Okay. We turn now to the words of the mourners, Kaddish. I will share our congregational list in a moment, but I want to acknowledge all the former clergy who are no longer with us. Rabbis Mordecai Kaplan, Jack Cohen, Ira Eisenstein, Alan Miller, Cantors, Idelson, and Nathanson. And of course, all the SAJ members and leaders who died in years past. And I know the list is so long, but I would be remiss not to mention Dan Cederbaum of Blessed Memory, who would have been very active in our 100th celebrations, and Michael Davidson, who died just a week ago or so, who was um, a foundational person for all, so many of us at SAJ. And for those at home, um, if you want to put anyone in the chat who was a former member of SAJ or a member of SAJ that you're remembering today, we can't read all the names out, but at least you can see them and read them and carry those legacies. Today, we are also remembering the anniversaries, the yard sites of Louise Newman, Murray Ginsburg, Richard Freeman, Mendel Menachem Weissman, Leonard Flomenhaft, Irene San Zigar, uh, Donnie Tom, Ephraim Schwartzman, Alfred Rosenthal, Leonard Philip Katz, Molly Seif, Daniel Ignatoff, Bear Zuckerbron, David Rips, Jerry Rabinowitz, and Evelyn Rabinowitz. Please rise if you are saying the mourner's cottage, if it's your custom to rise. And if there's anyone whose yard site is today that I missed, please um, say those names out loud. Vay Saranga. Thank you. The Mourner's Cottage is on page 451. Yit Gadal, the Kadash, Shame Raba, Via Ma Divarach, Hirate, Via Mlik Malchute, the Chayachon of Yomechon, Chayachon. Amen. <laughs> May all those who remember today be blessed with memories to carry them through. And may all those who we've mentioned rest in peace and let us say amen. Can be seated. And Janet is going to offer some welcome. Shabbat shalom, everyone. I have the privilege of being the current chair of SAJ. And all I, can, all I can say is, wow, 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 today. Thank you to all who are here on Zoom and who are all who are here in person. The storm is very lucky. It became part of SAJ's 100th anniversary story. <laughs> Thank you to all who worked so hard to make the kickoff so exceptional, including our clergy, our education director, teachers, teen assistants, staff, 107 volunteers, guest speakers, yeah, and counting, yes, guest speakers, laners, the band, and Deborah Dashmore for leading uh, this morning's Tish. 
We are so glad that you're all here today. It's especially meaningful that members of SAJ's founding families are with us, including Rabbi Mordecai Kaplan's family members. We have fabulous programming between now and December. And we hope that many people will join us uh -huh. for our first music program. Well, if today is any indication, this is going to be an incredible and enriching year filled with learning and filled, filled with joy. It's also an opportunity for SAJ to continue to invest in its next generation. So stay tuned for the 100th anniversary campaign for the future. This is going to be a great year. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much, Janet. Okay. Where are my notes? We're going to close the service in a second with the words of Osei Shalom, praying that the blessings of joy, wholeness, and peace, and love that we have received today flow from our sanctuary and our Zoom screams into the streets of the Upper West Side, and then into the city, and then into all the world. And as we sing, after we sing, we are going to pause, rise, and hear blasts of the shofar. In recent years, the shofar has made its way through Jewish practice beyond the high holidays, especially showing up at protests and marches for justice, but other places too. I've seen it at weddings. And today, we call the shofar as a wake-up call, jolting us out of routine and into action at this historic and momentous moment of commence, commencing SAJ 100 years, let the shofar awaken us to our commitment to advancing Judaism for another 100 years. Let the piercing sound of the shofar call us to envision a world of compassion, of love, justice, where we all stand for one another, and let it spur us into action on the behalf of our community and all who dwell on earth. So we'll go to Osei Shalom, and at the end of that, I'll invite you to rise.
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. 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 What an amazing, amazing service. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.